Matt, hi and welcome. I'm wondering if you can start off by telling us a little bit about Comscope. Okay, well Comscope as a whole works in both the wired and wireless space. On the wired space they do structured cabling. On the wireless space I think most people are familiar with Andrew. Andrew was acquired by Comscope in 2008. And on the wireless side we do everything in the RF path from the antenna all the way to the base station. And now the area that I'm in charge of is distributed coverage and capacity solutions. We're the DAS guys, both indoor and outdoor. And so we've been in that space going back, started with Radiax in the public safety space. And we acquired, Andrew acquired Allen Telecom, which was MECOM and Techmar Systemi, and we put that together to form DCCS. We've been running like that since 2003. Now you had a new product announcement at the show today. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. It's an I on U. The U stands for unified because what we're doing is unifying our low power platform and our high power platform into one platform so that you can mix and match. The U also stands for user because we went and took great strides in trying to design this product not from the engineer standpoint but from the implementation standpoint. How do we make this product easier to design with? How do we make it easier to install, commission, optimize, and maintain? So we put a lot of features into the, to the unit. We took a lot of the intelligence that today resides in the engineering personnel that's deploying these systems and try to put it in the equipment so that you, while you'll still have to be expertise in DAS, for example, to design a system, it takes the expertise that you have to have of understanding our equipment specifically because somebody who can install our equipment cannot necessarily install the competitor's equipment and vice versa. So we try to take that user experience and, and, and bring it down to levels. I liken it to the days, um, well, you're probably too young, but it used to be when you added a printer to your network, you had to go in there and select a serial port, whether it was one, two, or three, and then came along these auto discovery drivers that came in there and you plug it in, it goes out there, it searches the internet, pulls down your driver. So what we try to do is do something like that with the product in terms of cable wizards that walk them through step by step of how to cable the unit up so that you don't even have to have the schematic in front of you. There's LEDs underneath the uh, connectors that light to guide you through it. Commissioning, having that done automatically with measurement receivers built into the unit so that you essentially press a button, the unit goes off and crunches and calibrates the system out 100%. Uh, also, um, signal generators in there to help you during the optimization phase. And then a lot of other features in there that are useful like PIM. We've heard a lot talked about in this conference about PIM. We've integrated PIM measurement receiver in there so we can test out the passive infrastructure beyond the remote unit. Tell me a little bit about where you see the market going in the next three to five years. Well, I think in the, in the next three years, uh, it's going to continue with DAS being a major player, It's particularly as we integrate multiple operators together. I, I think we're seeing these single operator systems being less and less and multi-operator systems being more and more, and that plays to the strength of DAS. You know, you hear a lot about Femtos. They will have applicability, but they will have applicability in the single operator systems. You know, beyond three years, uh, small cell will have to see. I think small cell solutions will start to come on to play and become a competitor with DAS. I think today they're talked a lot about, and I think, you know, I think the promise is there, but the reality is not quite there right now in terms of the development. So I think for the next three years, I, I see a great future in DAS. Beyond that, DAS is going to have to evolve the same way to become more of a small cell solution, integrating the radials into the DAS, and then it'll be you know, a comparable to a, a, to a small cell solution. Great, Matt, thank you so much.